Hi, Colleen Clan fam. Today we are talking public school versus homeschool. We're going to go and talk to all of the kids and find out who's homeschooling this year and who's going to public school. And a little secret, a couple of our kids are actually going to public school. Something I didn't think that I would do ever again, but we're doing it. We are going to start with Lily. So, Lily, how old are you? I'm 10. 10. And what, what grade are you going into? Fifth. Fifth grade. She is the head of our elementary, which, uh, so in, um, in our area, it is kindergarten or pre-K sometimes through fifth grade. Middle school is sixth, seventh, and eighth, and then high school is ninth through twelfth. So Lily is going into fifth grade, but are you going to public school? No. Nope, you're going to be homeschooled. Yeah. Now, how come you decided that you wanted to be homeschooled? Um, what is it about homeschool that you like better than public? Homeschool, I don't have to do as much learning. <laughs> it's a shorter amount of time. And anything else? Um, they don't let us really do languages at school, but um, I want to do Duolingo and Spanish. Yep, so we use Duolingo for our... Um, languages so the kids i make them learn spanish and then if they want to learn another language too on top of that they can so you're doing spanish are you doing any other language i was gonna try to do chinese but i can't <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, I'm gonna stick to one language one language for now yeah. so do spanish and you guys have been doing spanish for several years um but you could always try another language. Like we could take a break from Spanish and try it if you want to do one at a time. Because I do think that it's good to learn different languages. John is next. John's not feeling the best today. He has a cold. So if you see his bed head, it's because he's actually been laying in bed because he doesn't feel good. Yeah. So, um, okay. How old are you? 17. No. How old are you? 14. Soon. He's 14, but he will be 15 in about, what, a month? Like oh, that. a month. One month. Wow, 15. Uh, okay, what grade are you in? Uh, shoot, I'm going to freshman in high school. Going into a freshman in high school, ninth grade. Man, uh, we have actually have two in high school this year. So what did you choose, public or homeschool? Homeschool. Homeschool, why? Why? It's because I got to make a goal for myself for this year. Uh, for the summer, I was trying to make a goal to make five thousand dollars. I knew that was impossible. So for this year, I'm gonna try to make five thousand dollars because I really want to get uh, get a car from the auction to start flipping and selling it. That's the one. I think that's really what I want to do is just to learn how to flip cars. I find it very interesting, and even though it's a pain in the butt to do, <laughs> tedious, and very tedious. Yeah. It's always something new, though. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of different things that you can work on on a car. Yeah. So at first he used to think that he wanted to own a lawn mowing business I and yeah, but flipping cars is uh, my n number one priority right now. But to do that, I do need to start making some cash because during the summer I only made one thousand dollars, which is still pretty good. That's, yeah. Uh, you only worked like one day a week. Exactly. Yeah. And so um, at 15, I actually think he can get a job here in our area. I don't. 14, it's really hard to find places to hire you, but at, once you're 15, there's a lot more options for jobs. So um, he could go get a job that's not like working for a neighbor. So then he could make the money and he has seen Sean flip cars. He is very interested in learning how to do that, uh, which is just another great skill to have. I don't think you can have too many skills. Like I don't think you can know too many things. So I just think it's awesome that the kids like learning uh, the same things that Sean has knowledge in, so that way he can share that. Well, I'm really excited to do it, but at the same time, if I don't get it done this year, I'm going to feel real sad. Okay, well, that's a good goal to have, though. It a good is. goal to work towards. I'm right? also scared. You yeah. know, 15, a lot of things open up, driving a car. I know. Gosh, you can get your learner's permit. Man, time's going so fast. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Jade. And how old are you, Jade? Yeah. 13. She's 13. Um, she will be 14 at the end of this year. But what grade are you going into? Um, eight. Eighth grade. So you're, you'll be the top of the middle school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except for, are you homeschooling or public schooling? Homeschooling. Homeschooling. And why do you say it like that? Because I wanted to go to school, but mom and dad said no because middle school ruins kids, basically. <laughs> 
We, you, okay, so we're letting all the kids choose what they want to do. But we did, however, tell Jade that we did not want her to go to public school. And that is because um, Jade tends to have like a fantasy of something. No, I don't. And then once she gets in it, um, she ends up wanting to quit because she doesn't like it. So it was that way, like, she was so excited to do dishes. No, I wasn't. So excited to do laundry. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. So we just felt like we needed to kind of help her along in that decision. Um, we are exploring other options. I don't know if they'll actually be an option, but we are exploring other things. One of... Uh, Jade's doctors had mentioned a couple different things like hybrid school or um, maybe there are activities that she could go to or things like that to get more of the social aspect of things. The problem is with Jade is that uh, the social aspect is actually really hard for her. So even though she absolutely loves it, it's really hard. So uh, we are keeping that in mind as we make these decisions, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rosie, how old are you? 13. 13. And uh, what grade are you going into? Eighth. So you're the same as Jade, eighth mm -hmm. grade. Um, okay, homeschool or public school? Oh, homeschool. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> she homeschool. said that real fast. She's like, I'm homeschooling. <laughs> homeschool. How come? Why? Well, I just, I feel like homeschool is the number one. Just it's easier for me, and I get to learn about the things that I want to learn about. Mm -hmm. Like lately, I've been really into politics. You mm -hmm. can ask the other kids. Mm -hmm. And I would much rather learn that than, you know, something that I would actually use in my future like than rocket science, algebra two, or whatever <laughs> <laughs> stuff they teach you. Yes. And write 10 page essays for one week. Right. But then, you know. And we can switch topics as often as we want. We usually do a weekly topic. Mm -hmm. um, the kids actually gave me lists of all of the ideas that they had on things that they thought would be important to learn. Um, and with the different personalities and the different interests, that gives us actually a wide variety yeah, of does. topics. So this, um, this week we're learning about all the different, like the last few presidents. We're learning like what does Democrat, what does Republican mean? Um, you know, we know what we are, but you know, that doesn't mean that that's what you guys are going to agree with. So, you know, why don't you look at that and see like, what do you agree with? So trying to show them that they can have their own opinions and um, that they can be open-minded and things like that. So yeah. I do love that. I, I love that about homeschool. And once the kids get to about third or fourth grade, we actually do what's called unschooling. Uh, and it's our own version of unschooling because unschooling really technically means that you never teach your kids anything, oh. that they just kind of... <laughs> learn it they, themselves. Yeah, they, right. They learn, I've got Elena over here. That they learn it... Um, on their own when they're ready in their own time how they want to so you just you never sit down and actually teach um, it's you know, exploring their environment it's it's all kinds of things that are completely opposite of of traditional schooling but what we believe in our home is that the basics are very important so we teach the kids the common core all the way up until like third grade, sometimes even through fourth grade, depending on where they're at in their learning. Uh, and then after that, we do more open learning. So exploring what your interests are, um, you know, learning from your environment. Uh, the kids learn from sometimes the things that we do, right? Like when we uh, bought our North Carolina property, they were part of that. When we made the decision to go from Texas to North Carolina, they were part of that. Um, and they were part of the, all, all of those processes, which allows them to learn more like real life, I feel like, which yeah. I don't feel like they teach you enough of that in school, public Absolutely school. Not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So the kids have already started businesses. They've done budgets to move out. They've, um, they're now learning about the politics. They're, I mean, we've done all kinds of science stuff that they don't do until high school, but we did in yeah, middle school. Yeah, well, also just like being homeschooled, especially with the way we do it, you don't lose your creative side. Yeah, that's true. You keep it, you know, because like I sat down at the table the other day. I was bored and I was like, well, you know, what do I do? And then I just did budgeting Nebraska because we did yeah. budgeting in Texas and I want to do that in Nebraska, see what the differences were, you know, Yep. and stuff like that. Yep, and you say that creativity because in public school they put you in a box. 
they make you all think one way you have to you have to do it this way like your math has to be done this way even if you get the right answer um it's, it's considered wrong, wrong. Yeah, so i'm being in fourth grade and we did like a multiplication sheet you know regular fourth grade stuff but they had me write down how i got to it and in my head, I didn't do any of that, you know. I just had the answer already there. Right. So I kind of forgot, like, how like how to write it down, you know. And then I went to my teacher, and I was like, I forgot how I did it, but I know it's the right answer, you know. And she was like, you're going to fail that then. It's wrong. Yeah. It's like, what? I know. And obviously, it's not their fault. It's no. Because our fault. That's how they have to do it. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the teachers at our school, I do feel like, are amazing. Okay, Elena, you are next. So... Uh, how old? Oh. Sorry, um, I, I forgot my question. How, how old? Uh, yeah, I'm 120. Yeah, she's 120. Okay, how old are you? I'm 12. 12. What grade are you going into? Seventh. Seventh. And uh, public or homeschool? Hun homeschool, 100%. Uh, homeschool, yes. I've got a lot of kids that love homeschooling. Not only because of the less time. You can learn at your own pace, but it goes faster because you don't have to wait for everybody else to be on the same page as you. Yeah, like when I was in school, you know, I'm really good at math, but I'm terrible at spelling. So, like, I did an F every spelling test. <laughs> it's really hard for you. Yeah. So, um, like... So now I'm going to go back into like third grade spelling and work my way up. Yeah. And we've done that once already. Yeah. We started in kindergarten. We had all the kids go all the way up to fifth. But um, it's just something that you you just need to just repeat. And she's able to do that. Like she's able to go back and repeat that as many times as she needs to to learn it. But yet with math, you know, she could learn it for the day and then move on because I'm just she's good at it. I'm right. good at memorizing numbers, not letters. Uh, yeah. And um, and I am similar. I'm very good at remembering numbers. Emma, okay. How old are you? I am 16. 16. And um, what grade are you going into? I'm going into 11th. No, sorry, 10th. You're going into 10th, but, okay, something about that. She actually should be going into 11th. Her birth mom held her back in kindergarten, even though the school did not want to do that. Because she was held um, back in kindergarten. She, she said, I want to hold her back, and they held her back in kindergarten, so she did kindergarten twice. Mm -hmm. um, so really, you should be going into 11th. Mm -hmm. But are you homeschool or public school? Homeschool. Homeschool. So it really doesn't matter what grade you're in, because in homeschool, we don't necessarily follow the grades. We do a little bit, like I said, in elementary, um, but they can learn as fast or as slow as they want to. So we kind of look at those grades as just a guideline for, um, I don't know, I guess kind of like who, what everybody else is doing that you're friends with around you. So you, though, why? Why homeschool? Why do I don't like homework. You don't like homework? <laughs> We do still do stuff here, though, right? You have to do presentations. Mm -hmm. But it's not like and three hours of homework. Yeah. So, yeah. No. In public school, you do. Like, you go to school for seven hours, mm -hmm. and then you come home, and you have, like, three hours of homework. It's like, well, that's ridiculous. Your entire day is nothing but school stuff, mm -hmm. which that I don't – I feel like you need to be able to do things other than just that. Like, experience the real world. Yeah, experience the real world. That's right. And be able to have fun and be creative and things like that. So is that the only reason, just homework, or is there other reasons? I know you said that we would not be able to drag you back. No. <laughs> because we had talked about putting other kids in public school. but No, I told them I'll do the one of these. <laughs> yeah, put your arms and legs out. Out yeah, the and window. She and then, <laughs> so she couldn't get in the car. And then... Uh, I wouldn't be able to get outside the door, and then if they got me outside the door, then I'd do that for the car, <laughs> and then once oh I pulled my up gosh. that door, I wouldn't be acting like that, but... <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. So, she is, um, she's going to be homeschooling. Mm -hmm. She is in 10th grade. Mm -hmm. I did not have the best experience. In school? In school. Yeah, so. yeah. And also, um, you are working. Mm -hmm. So, you're working and going to school. I'm working and going to school, Which yeah. is good. Isabella, so how old are you? Nine, gonna turn ten in like <laughs> Did, a week. You had to think about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, your birthday is so close. One week away. One week. <laughs> okay, and then what grade are you going into? Fourth. 
Fourth grade. Oh, and um, homeschool or public school? Uh, homeschool. Homeschool, yeah. So why did you choose homeschool? I think you can learn more things that are important in homeschool. Yeah. When you're in public school, you kind of just learn math and this and this when you don't really need that stuff. So up to a certain grade, you do need it. Yeah. And then after a certain grade, it's not something that everybody uses in everyday life. So there are certain things that you use in everyday life, like yes. multiplication, division, reading. fractions, yeah, reading. I mean, like there's a lot that you use in everyday life, but... Once you get to a certain grade, yeah, that's why they have the game show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Because yeah. a lot of people don't use that, um, like after fifth grade, use, or up, I mean in fifth grade, use that stuff every day. And so um, that's a lot of people just forget yeah. it because they don't use it. You can also learn all that stuff in your home school yes. and then learn other important things. Yes. But when you're in public school, you only learn that, those things. <laughs> yes. And then you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Right, afterwards. You can learn what you're interested in. You could be creative. You could do, um, like, athletic stuff. You can, you can just go out and do what you want. Yeah. Okay, Christian is waiting, trying to patiently wait over there. Right, yeah. Christian? Yeah. Okay. What, uh, are you going to public school or home school? Uh, public school. <laughs> <laughs> Christian was going to go to public school. He was going to go to the preschool program that we love so mm -hmm. much. Um, but we have decided that we're going to do something a little bit different with Christian, and we yeah. were, we're going to talk about that in an upcoming video. Yeah. So he was going to public school, but yeah. now we're doing something different. How do you how do you feel about daycare now? Are you feeling better? Uh, no. Nope. No? You don't like daycare? <laughs> it's really hard for him to be social, and uh, so he has terrible social anxiety. But I will say he's getting so much better. You've started playing with the kids, haven't you? Yep, you have. So he is getting better. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. We are in Gavin's room sitting on the floor because he is lazing around today. I don't know if you can tell by looking at him, but he is not feeling good at all. He had a migraine this morning. He ended up getting sick. And um, so he is just not feeling good. But I wanted to talk real quick. Are you going public school? Or wait, first let's start. How old are you? Nine. Nine. And um, what grade are you in? Fourth. So you're about the same as Izzy, right? Yep. She turns 10 just uh, about six months before you. Uh, and then are you doing public or private? I mean public or homeschool, not private. Public, public or homeschool? Public. Public school. Uh, okay, so are you happy about going to public school or not? Yeah? How come? Because I can see my old friends. Yes, he gets to see his friends, which uh, the kids love the fact that they have friends. And actually, um, he has people that he knows from when he attended the school previously because you're going to the same school you used to go to mm -hmm. yeah so Gavin is one of the kids that we actually have two kids that are going to go to public school uh, Gavin is one of them and uh, Gavin just needed a little bit of extra learning support and we thought that we would take this opportunity to have him go to public school for a year and then at the end of this year, we are going to reevaluate and see. And we kind of do that for all the kids anyways. We kind of ask them, what would you choose? And then we discuss it uh, and figure out what's best for them. But uh, we did think that this year it would be good for Gavin to go to public school um, and see uh, how he likes it. So, so far, um, you're excited to go. Okay. All right, Char Char, you're last. Um, how old are you? Um, six. Six years old. Actually, she'll be seven in like, I don't know, a month and a half. Oh, growing up. Okay, what grade are you going into? Um, um, no, not kindergarten. Uh, first grade. First grade. I know, I keep wanting to say kindergarten too. But she's actually a first grader this year, which is, I just, I know I keep saying this, but it's so crazy just how fast the kids grow and uh, get older in the grades. And um, are you going to homeschool or public school? Public school. Public school. So Charlie is our second one that is going to public school this year. Um, she 
she also, like Gavin, needed a little extra support, and we just thought that now would be a good time to put her in public school, kind of immerse her in um, everything they have there to learn. Uh, like we said, at, when our home, when we homeschool for the elementary kids, I will homeschool and do uh, the Common Core all the way up through like third grade, sometimes even fourth grade. So because we do that, we thought that um, it would be a good idea to go ahead and put her in public school because they'll be teaching her the same things we would and she'll be around all the kids and um, they have like the alphabet on the wall and they have all this stuff that is able to maybe help her out a little bit with her learning and so after this year then we'll reevaluate just like we're going to with Gavin and we'll see um, how much it was able to help her they also pull them out for uh, special sessions where they teach them things that maybe they're behind in and stuff like that so uh, Charlie what are you excited for for public school um, about learning. About learning? Yeah. Oh, good. What about friends? Yeah. <laughs> she loves friends. She loves. We have friends outside of school that the kids play with, and she loves her friends. So that's it. One of my friends are in kindergarten. One of them is in kindergarten. Uh -huh. That's cool. You're in first grade, so that's not too much older. Yeah. Yeah. So we are taking these guys to a big parking lot. So that way they can show off their mad skills. Are you guys ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Are you going to show everybody what you can do? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Because I learned to put a bike to fly in my... You did. You did. I just... You just hopped on and went. Yeah. I had to go in the grass, but now I know how to... Go on the uh, concrete? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to keep this bike and not waste that guy's money. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> You're gonna, you like this bike? Yeah, I don't want the Elsa. You don't want an Elsa one? Yeah, I want this one. You, you do? Break? You ready for a break, Christian? No. You need a bike. Um, two little kid chairs because I can't sit down on the concrete. Oh man, we, yeah, we need a little kid chair. We didn't bring one, did we? Yeah, we you guys need a bike because we yeah, don't. Yeah, we used have to have some and we don't anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, pretty fun, huh, guys? Okay. Where's he going? Where's he going? Whoa! Whoa. Well, you're going downhill. Yeah. Whoa! Okay? Yeah. It didn't right. even hurt. Good. Did it? Nope. Good. Nice. Okay, Christian. Time to go. Can you stop? Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Woo wee. Was that fun? Yes. <laughs> Look at those wheels. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Those wheels are packed with stuff. Yeah. Those are so muddy. We may have to wash them. Yeah. Man. You gonna wash your bike? Yeah. You did very good. Yeah, there's my bike. Does does my shoe have mud on it? Let's see. Oh, just a little tiny little bit. Not too why, much. Why? Why Christian's back is hairy? <laughs> it's so hairy. I don't know. He's a boy, that's why. Yep. Ew. <laughs> What'd you find? I found. Mud on your shoe! <laughs> oh my goodness. You have mud on your shirt, mud on your legs, mud on your shoes. It's real! Oh, gross! Ew! Oh, well, look at me. Get right I'm in the cup holder. Clean. I'm clean. You're perfectly clean. You stayed out of the mud. <laughs> so, this year we're doing a little bit of a mixture of public school and homeschool. Something I didn't think we would do again. But we always just want to make sure that the kids have um, what is best for them at the time. So we are doing public school this year. We'll see how it goes, and then we'll reevaluate again next year. Uh, it is a busy time between Brianna having Eden, uh, trying to do all the school stuff, Sean and John being gone. It has just been crazy. But 
we will see you guys next time. Bye. I know we're so close. Didn't take much time at all for this to grow.